sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective, and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. Astral dives do not accumulate overtime compensation. Thank you for your attention. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Tripwire triggering a flash camera across the main entrance. Even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. But mostly just... inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment depends. I don't know how exactly. I, uh... I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I can hear the call bell go and ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think, wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get this. Gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck. Cooperate. Okay, here we go. Alright, that was faint, but I definitely heard movement coming from the hallway. I think I might have finally caught one. Ha! <laughs> the recording better work this time, or I swear to God, I'll. What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... The vents, they are full of mold shit. It's no good for you. Hey, hey. Nauseous, boldness, depression. How <laughs> can you tell when you are not in it? Hello, dear Homer. You can see that it's a pass as ever. Darkness everywhere. New day, same old bloody city, says the old way. Like dark, but good for nothing. Get rid of it. Plants in here 
have died standing up. Lighten them up. Ah, more plants. All right, let's go make some new friends. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists, I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Wake now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. in this darkness is draining me.
is that? Come on, elevator, time to go. It was desperate. old resident of southern texas i'm sorry ma'am but i really don't understand why i'm here you know what you did mr hennerman i do tell me about delivery disaster the movie i don't i mean it wasn't very good that's not what your review said but we'll come back to that tell me where you got the movie from movie night with a you know okay not an end not not night like night time but who contacted you who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes me look smart. And I thought if I look smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could live out my parents' basement and maybe even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. Arcade machines. Shoom. Shin. Shoom. Whatever. Investigations. Jesus, don't scare me like that, Winston. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp. Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your... I don't have any of those, Langston. Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right. Okay, well, uh... Break a leg. Oh, uh, why did I say that? Okay, this Hartman thing can't have gotten very far.
Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't to brag. People are making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's true. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves. Like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. But that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's just going to talk forever, isn't he? He's making home for mealtime, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at 7 o'clock if I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. She has a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment. She'll give Alfred his dinner if I'm not home. I'm gonna have to buy her a nice food. up to my location. what you had in mind?
Portman thing do all this? Reminder, the law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. Dark corners to hide in. Okay, let's get the lights on and clear it out. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited, bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Good evening, all you fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Stops Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. was chaotic felt like it was trying to tell me something good afternoon
afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Marlinville and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. Fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Fire! Everyone, stay Had a pretty dark ride, huh? But I hope you're done replaying it now. to get those lights on.
Where's the switch? 